how much can you accomplish in a day to heal a relationship? Well, after all the hubbub in this video, at the end, I'm gonna tell you the thing that was actually the most pivotal thing, the thing that allowed this whole day to happen and was the biggest breakthrough and step towards healing. Your firewood is here. Yeah. Bonus kindling. Yeah, it looks very, it looks good and dry. Big truck. Big old truck. Good job, let's go. And then y'all are gonna stack it under here and you're gonna probably need to do two or three deep, okay? I think it's gonna get wet if you stack it out here. I'd say we should stack it back just a little bit. Well, yeah, you, you decide, that's fine. I just want it under the covered part. We want it under the covered portion of the deck, not under the uncovered portion, so I'm gonna put it here. This is the closest to the fire pit. Oh, hey, bring the cart over here and just dump it out right here and then we'll stack it back in here. gonna take two tiles deep, two stacks deep to get it under those stacks. Yep, we're doing a cabinet, but make sure it's stable for the corner. Get it as close as you can. All right, perfect, right in there. Okay. Watch out, move back, Roy, watch your head. Nice job, all right, get another load. I'll start the stack and then water can come. There's work ethic. All right, the corners starting to stack though, we'll stack. All right, great job guys. We'll put those square, nice square pieces in the corner stack. Nice job. Nice work guys. There's Truly. Good job Truly. All right, good job. We're trying to keep it in a nice neat stack. That's why we've got log cabins on the ends. Oh, don't hit that gas line. Make sure you don't hit that gas line, okay? Because they're very, they're very tough, but you don't want to bust them. All right, get clear for the dump. Here we go. Nice job. So for 18 months, I was checked out and drinking too much. And when you do damage over a long time, guess what? There's no miracle cure. You only, the only way to fix things It's the only way to fix things. It's one brick at a time. So today you're just seeing one brick. You get that front of that pile nice and straight. Let's lean it out a little bit. I'd rather lean back for this, okay. The stacking team, we're moving faster than the loading team. Baby nap time. Come on babies, it's nap time. I know, you're having fun. That's crazy. You okay? He usually does it a little bit better than that. He's, show daddy how you can do a good, he does it more controlled. He's a monkey. Truly, peekaboo. Show me the peekaboo, Truly. Peekaboo. <laughs> crazy boys. Copy me. Royal second chance to not go crazy. Okay, there you go, that's better. That's more controlled. You got it, you need, or you need help? Nap time. I know. You want your shoes off? Take off your shoes, sir. Oh, he doesn't even have his shoes on. All right, tell the boys if they get the big job done, cleaning up the yard, all the jobs. Yeah, all the jobs that will um, eat dinner over the fire. We'll do hot dogs and marshmallows and all that. And okay, I'll make awesome. like some bean dip, and I'm going to try to make hot dog buns. How much do they have to help though? Because I don't expect them to work with me all day that I'm working. Um, now can you go put the shoes where they go? Can you go put your shoes? Oh! <laughs> okay. Putting away his own shoes. Can you go put your shoes on? So guys, mama says, if you guys work hard, we'll actually do supper 
hot dogs and marshmallows on the fire tonight. We're just squeezing in a few more pieces on this first stack. Oh no, I'm behind. I gotta move, get this stuff out of the way. Nice. You got a baby in that load. You better get out before he dumps it, right? You said it's a tiny load, but you're working with heart, dude. You're not just working hard, you're working hard and loving your brother. That's amazing. Life skills. Work hard and take care of the people around you. Load your biking, guys. Right and hit a last piece. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you got the last piece? <laughs> Crazy boys. All right, I need the honeydew list. What's on this list? I'm gonna put firewood on and check it off. What else is on your list? The rotten meat, the um, break down the cardboard in the garage. Okay, what else, pool? Pool, backyard clean, like in all the edges of the house. Uh, These are all huge jobs. <laughs> so we did the smallest out of five jobs. The firewood is easier than all those other jobs. Okay, so it is 11, I'm sorry, it's 12.38. And that's not for today. So we have basically some disasters to catch up on. Um, Cardboard in the garage, you can see that. And then you may not know this. This one's full of rotten meat. We went to the beach, the door was cracked. Okay, there's cleaning out the uh, pool, draining it, cleaning it, folding it, putting it away. The backyard, which is just drifted towards disaster, wanting to get that wrapped up. But there's actually a sixth job, which isn't on the list. I haven't told you about, but you already know about, and I'll tell you what it is later in this video. Do we have enough trash bags? box. Okay, so what I'm going to do is unload the household trash. It, I don't want the rotten meat in my car, but I could take these bags to the dump. Okay, I'm about to dive into this. This is just pure nastiness. Uh, but first, just a little context. I actually don't live here with my family. We have a farm over an hour away. That's where I live through the week. I work carpentry. Um, four days a week. I have the kids three days a week. And then we usually overlap one day here recently, only recently to um, be together as a family. But that's new. I mean, things are re really broken and it's gonna take time to put them together. We don't think it's just, oh, instant fix. Let's move back in together and have things how they were. We don't even want things how they were. We want something new so that's what i'm hoping to build just step by step really special it's not quite so far gone that it's like making me want to dry heave talking about meat now i'm about out of bags Nice job, bud. I was like right in middle school. He slept three hours yesterday. I know, what's up with this? Dude, he woke her up too. I just bought cribs today. Oh wow, that's a big step. Kicking the last babies out of the bed. Maybe not. <laughs> if you girls see the trash bags, that's what I need. Uh, so it's a last minute add-on. Did you grab the trash bags, question mark? The trash bags were a last minute add-on. To this order. But I texted him. I literally was texting But he said he could get them, but then maybe he forgot. I don't know. So we, I don't have trash bags for the freezer job. I probably need to go get some. I'm gonna go grab some right now. Okay, I'll be back soon. For anyone, uh, any dog lovers, guess who's here? Hey. Good boy. And this is his favorite spot, sitting in the van. Mm. Yeah, good boy.
what I said about not dry heaving, take that back. You're not showing this mess, are you? <laughs> you don't want me to show your mess. <laughs> it's just the product of you being insanely busy and overwhelmed. Yeah. I'm going to make some hot dog buns. Awesome. How does it smell in here? It smells like um, scented trash bags. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm smelling that too. Yeah, you want to stick your nose in there? Which one? That one. Oh. Juicy, juicy. So is it not frozen? Why is it not frozen in there? Are these freezers just broken? Do they just not work anymore? I think the door in that one keeps popping open. I think I need to take the door off and figure out why. <sighs> Being open, when people think they closed it. The problem is I, I need to make a pass to get this freezer out there to hose it out. So cardboard next, then we'll hose out the freezer, I guess. But I still have pool takedown and cleaning in the backyard. And I have to actually hose the freezers out, so there's still a lot to do. Come on, let's go. Run around. Let's get you some water, snack. Hey. I knew I saw the Yeah, he's just trying to get back in the car. That's where he wants to sit. There we go. Hey, Shep, come here. Look. Hey, come here. Hey Justice, bring me the end of that dog leash, okay? So he can be out here and hang out. These projects are honestly daunting to me because they're just kind of, like each one of them is a significant job. They're not crazy huge, but it's just, it's, I've just got to keep with the same mantra, so to speak. Just keep going step by step. That's my life. And that's what I'm trying to do. Keep making positive steps. So that's the cardboard, but I feel like I'm not done in here. I'm trying to make the decision. Do I say, okay, I got the cardboard done. It's better in here. Carry on with the freezers or do I uh, go one more step? Actually, this is really tempting actually. It may be a distraction from what I need to do, but there's shelves I could put together. Let's just ask her. Hey. Yeah, Naked Baby. Okay, Naked Baby. Hey, question. Yeah. So, do you want to peek at the garage? Yeah, after I get the baby's diaper on. Okay. I have a little bit of a dilemma okay. because I have this list I'm trying to get done, right? You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I'm done with the cardboard, but the garage is still a mess. Yeah, that's okay. I saw those shelves and assembly is a major temptation. I know, I know, but that's like, this is like a whole entire day or two or three day job. So you just need to stick with the list. Stick with the list. Stick with the list. Just stick with it. You're doing great. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bam, here we are checking off uh, board garage. Yeah. And I gotta finish this. So we'll spend a few minutes just making a path to get these fruit freezers, or at least that one nastiest freezer out and hose it out in the driveway. We're kind of in a crunch spot. I'm talking to you from here because I'm watching the babies. Okay. No, we're good. Because Grace is doing a job. I'm running out of time. So it just leaves me the boys to clean the backyard, but no one's really watching the babies. Oh, Joyful home. Okay, I want to do the pool too. I'm not giving up on the pool. You want to do the pool before dinner? Uh, so hungry. Oh, maybe kill somebody. All right, I'm going back out. I don't know about the pool, but we're going to start cleaning the backyard. Mommy. What did you find? Is that a bat caterpillar, I think. That's crazy that you found one here because 
I've never seen them. That looks like a little blackberry plant. And I've never seen one that wasn't on corn. Looks like it might have a little, it might have been parasitized by a wasp. There's a little orange yellow dot on his forehead. I'm not certain about that. Beautiful, they're called saddleback. What, I don't what, have to explain why. What stinger? I think there's little stingers, those little dot, little bumps. They're not too bad. It's just like a bee sting kind of. All right, let's go. Get rid of everything that's in it and any trash in it. Put it in the. Why? Any trash in it goes in that bag there. Good that's job. Good. Anything big in that is going, is not getting burned. Yeah, we don't want cardboard burning when we're cooking. Huh. It's just gross. You can burn the smallest pieces. The big ones, you just dropped one, are going in the garage on the cardboard pile. I just want to Do you need to do two best. trips? I'm gonna okay. Or Justice, you can use this cart. Okay. Listen, when you're done with the carts, they need to be parked right there. Okay. Got it? Oh, All right, listen, last thing. We gotta put the freezers in the garage. That other job that I said, you, you know that I'm doing, but you don't know and I'm gonna tell you. Honestly, it's filming videos. So, it, because w with that, what I'm doing is taking more of the financial burden off Brianna of providing which I've been unable to do completely yet but I'm just going all in um as much as I'm able to to do that now because she's she needs it she's just exhausted and so in this video I'm making a video about helping her but the video actually is the thing that the video is about Bree's about to come out and actually she's not seeing the yard yet and it's totally transformed. So she's gonna come out in just a second. If I've learned anything in the past few months of going really the wrong direction to starting to go in the right direction is that the only way you achieve healing is one day at a time. It's the only way you stay sober. It's the only way you really do anything in life that you build success you raise children well is just one day at a time. So even though you can't do really that much in a day, if you take one step towards healing every day, then that's a huge amount if you do one step every day. So look how good they did. Great job. Big Come look at the, your this area down here too. <laughs> oh, the wood looks nice. Oh, what a perfect place for the kayaks! I've been wanting to put them away somewhere. Yeah. Brighton dragged them under there. Thank you. It feels like pulling a car into a parking lot. Nice. That needed to happen so bad. We did. What did? This being cleaned up here. Show us this awesome food. <laughs> I don't think mom likes what I put on my hot dog. I'm not even going to look at it, but there's homemade french oh, fries. Block that out. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> there's mayo on there. Homemade salsa. I cut some onions really small. Homemade buns that are just okay. And then I made homemade hot dog chili. Which is awesome. I already tried that. Mm. Here we are. A feast for all these hardworking boys today. Nice job. What evil is happening here? Mixing condiments, including the white one. Okay, for Brianna Mayo is that which shall not be named. <laughs>
know the kids built this fire pit, Arthur? I mean, and I'm not saying women can't do it, but it's man stuff. Well, <laughs> it's not so much that, but I... For me, it, it is. Hey, man, if that's man stuff, you can do that stuff all day, every day. No, it doesn't bother me at all. It's like conquest. Conquest? Yeah. Cleaning out dirty freezers. <laughs> oh, those freezers were stressing me out. Losing all that meat stressed me out. But then I thought, what I thought is, well, if I just keep it frozen, I'll deal with it when I have time. But it kept thawing. Yeah. I mean, what it, it's not man stuff. It's actually, you, you need a team. That's what it is. Is it takes a team. It takes a partner. But it's so funny how practical things like that can make me feel safe. Make me less anxious. Because then that's like, I can't tell you how just like, do you doing a couple of really big things. Like on my to-do list, taking those off makes me feel like I can like relax and breathe and feel less anxious. Do you ever feel that way? Like when there's too many things on your list and it's just like there on your mind and it's like nagging you and it gives you anxiety. Definitely. So it's like, I, I felt so good today. Like just feeling like, oh, I don't have to think about that. The cool part for me and honestly the biggest thing I feel like I did for our relationship is to, is we were butting heads this morning but I was able to lead out into making this happen still. And that's something I've never done in our relationship. That's true. I've, I've been a destructive person often. I've tried, but I've actually been successful multiple occasions in the past like six weeks to say like, hey, we're having, we're, we're in a snag, a hang up, we're fighting or misunderstanding each other or hurt. That's the most accurate, hurt. And then I've never been the one who could lead through. Yeah. And to me, that's like the biggest thing that I'm happy about that I've been learning. And, able to do. and that makes me feel safe. And that happened today. Mm -hmm. That enabled me to actually be here today because I would say you were definitely hurt this morning. I would say I was hurt, but I was like, I was able to say, wait a second, like this isn't, I don't want this just to not happen. And so that's the thing I feel like was my biggest accomplishment. You did a good job with everything. Love you. Love you too. I really do feel like I can like breathe. You doing that, what you're talking about over and over and over though, you've done it quite a few times in the last months. Um, makes me feel safe. And also like we can have, cause you know, it's, it's hard whenever you've been through what you've been through, like, I have this fear, you know, that at any minute you're going to fall apart. So whenever you don't fall apart, it, it's like another, it's like another level of safety. Does that make sense? More trust is built. Is that too personal? No, I'm fine. Okay. I think you can high five me in the video. I don't want to high five you. You can hug me. Fist bump? <laughs> I am not your buddy. I guess we'll just end it right there. <laughs>